Hello everyone, it's Crip here. And Rania. And Rania. And we are in... And no Dex and no Faye. No Dex and no Faye. Well, this whole video was supposed to be about our adventures outside of our life with the doggies. Where are we going today? Well, where are we supposed to go today? We're supposed to go to the South Bahamas. Mm -hmm. For H T event. Yep, but we're at the airport, as you can tell. And it doesn't look like we're going anywhere anytime uh, soon. Well, soon is relative. I mean, from the looks of it, it seems like it'll happen today. Yeah. Very late today. Very late today. Yeah, we were hoping to give you guys a video from the Bahamas, but instead we had uh, a bunch of hiccups trying to get there. We're obviously still not there. Bahamas does not look like that. That is definitely Toronto. We've never been there. Might look like that. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I hope not. Yeah. So the traffic wasn't too bad. And we thought our day was going great because it was yeah. the first time we did not get any traffic on the highway leading to the airport. That's true. But still, uh, once we got to the airport, we started having issues. Uh, the first issue was with, with parking. Uh, we booked reserved parking space, which claimed to be basically what it says, reserved. You know, you have your own parking space, so you don't have to like look around and you don't have mm. to waste time for that. Ideally. But maybe it's like that like extra warranty at the computer place where mm -hmm. you just get wrecked. <laughs> you just give money for nothing. Yeah, I don't know. Because that's what it was. But Apparently all the reserved spots were taken. <laughs> Even and though there were supposed to be 20 spots there. Yeah, and there was an, an airport like uh, parking security guy there with like um, a car with mm. looking all, all official with the siren and stuff. He's less than helpful. Well, he said, uh, all the reserved seem to be reserved. Just find a regular one and park. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that was a bit of a mess. We wasted a good, uh, I think it was at least like 30 minutes there. We try to leave our jackets in the car because Bahamas it's supposedly fairly consistent weather that you don't need them. So we froze our ass trying to get to the actual airport. Bahamas is supposed to be like 23 Celsius mm. this time of the year, day and night. And just to let you know, it was actually snowing last last night here. It was like minus 10 or something. Yeah, it was so, pretty bad. Yeah. We had a few good days of summer though, but anyway. So at the airport, we got through, we got in, it wasn't too bad, we've definitely had worse times at airports before, but um, yeah, some time had to pass, we usually get to the airport a few hours early, we try to get some food, and there was this new new burger place here in, at the airport. And it had vegan burgers, actually, it said vegan, so we said, yeah, it's a good place, let's try it, because we can both eat and be happy. Mm. Well, let's, let's get the good stuff out of the way, so how was your food? Like, out of 10. Uh, seven. Seven. But it was oh not God. worth it. Not worth it. I'd be generous at a two. Really? Yeah, my burger was terrible and the fries really weren't very good. But um, the real shocking thing was it was it was easily the most disorganized restaurant I have ever been into. There were there were, it was literally a madhouse, right? There were people just yelling at each other and throwing stuff and missing orders. Um, like we looked at our receipt and our receipt had half of our order even though it like put the full price on there. So they're like, well, we don't know what's going on. We don't have the, the items on, at, at the cooks and we give them the receipt and it, it, doesn't, ha it doesn't even have anything on it. It's, it's just a complete disaster. There were people... They were in hell. Who it, think hell is actually... It's got a spot open here in mm -hmm. airport in Toronto. There were people putting toppings on burgers, having one hand in one side of another person and one, like hugging another person. Oh yeah, it was really yeah. cramped and everything. Yeah. Anyways, complete disasters. Uh, seems like... There was one competent person, but it seems like every time we go to airports, it's just like the, the pool of people who are not good or don't care at their job. There, there's a few exceptions, and I'm sure all of you guys that work at airports watching are exactly those exceptions, but in, in general... And there was no ketchup! Oh yeah! Which, by the way, guys, rude. When, when there is one bottle of ketchup and there, it's there shared... Were two, there were two shared bottles. Okay, and one was, was finished, and the other one... Someone just like took it yeah, their table. Yeah. It's like, when, when it's shared... Ran, took and ran. Yeah, you're supposed to like use it and then mm. leave it there. You don't just take it yeah, to your table. That's yeah. rude. Yeah, well, and just as we were about to sit down and eat, we learned that the um, the plane had some issues. Well, we didn't learn exactly. Google told us oh, that yeah. the plane would be delayed for two hours. And we looked up on the, on the boards here and apparently it was on time, but yeah. not so. Google knows best, apparently. And yeah, after some time they updated the, like after about an hour they updated the uh, boards here. They updated it when we talked to them. Yeah. 
uh, we asked someone and they said, okay, I'm calling so they can update the yeah. boards here. And now we're looking at a two and a half hour delay because apparently... At uh, least, they said at least. Yeah. Um, plane broke down. The aircraft broke down, yeah. And they're looking for the next available aircraft. Yeah. And um, I mean, we've we've been through airports. Like we have been, we used to fly like three times a month about a year ago. We kind of stopped that once we got the doggies and tried to get settled down. Oh, a we have definitely had the worst experience in airports. But, or, or, but so, so, like stuff usually goes wrong in some small way, usually, and um, usually when it, it's like airline related. If it's a complete disaster, like yeah, you know, might be a little bit of a delay. They always downplay it. So I'm expecting to be here. Uh, probably a lot longer than the two and a half hour estimate that they gave, but we'll see. But we have had a worst experience, so uh, why, don't, why don't we tell them that? Okay. The worst flying experience. But together, had. at least. Together. Your okay. your worst was definitely the. Oh, we're not going to talk about yeah. that. <laughs> Maybe another day. Oh, we should link that video. Uh, yeah. Was a good one. If we can, I don't remember. It's like the red shirt video, yeah. I think. Anyway, so. Uh, the worst what, was what in was Greece. the hall? It was it was in Greece. Uh, it was May first. May first. Uh, on top of like the the Labor Day, mm. uh, May first, they also celebrate like the, not the first day of spring, but they do celebrate spring. Mm -hmm. So it's like customary that people um, just uh, go somewhere on the countryside to just like have a picnic or. And seemingly, a lot of people had work off that day. Uh, not they do, not they everyone, do. but it's, a it's lot like, of people. It's like because of Labor Day, they mm. have uh, work off, and they like squeeze in the same. Uh, the celebration of like spring, um, yeah. so they have to go to the countryside, and uh, they do so using cars. So basically, the streets of Athens on that day are an endless parking space. Yeah, you, you just you don't we, go we, anywhere. We didn't live that far from the airport. It was normally like forty minutes on a good day. Was it even that? Uh, it, it's it's not very close, but yeah, it's about forty mm. minutes driving. Maybe. Yeah. So. And we left like two and a half, three hours early or something like that. Like plenty of time early, reasonable amount of time, and we just saw like the time passing, and we were at the same spot on the highway. It's like, like you you could see yourself that in an hour you would be there. Like you 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 could tell where you would be in an hour because you could see it. It would be that far. Like it was moving that slowly. It was just absolute insanity. And um, af after like wasting an hour on the highway, hoping things would improve, and obviously we were, they didn't. We were lucky because we were like close to an exit, so we mm. just took that exit. And uh, I just found the nearest um, subway station, and I parked the car near that, which was, by the way, in the middle of nowhere. Oh yeah, we parked in a really sketchy area, and we had reasonable hopes that the car would have like broken windows when we'd return. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we really thought that that was yeah, we that did. was very we couldn't find parking anywhere. I mean, that's not new in Athens, but yeah, so it was sketchy. We uh, went down on the subway. We got the uh, airport ticket, which is like four times more expensive uh, than the normal ticket. You actually like get a an, an different ticket for the airport, right? And you would think if you get an airport ticket, it actually goes to the airport. Yes, and we just um, uh, started walking towards the sub uh, subway, like you know, the train. And some, it was like awfully quiet, mm -hmm. like no people around, like, so <laughs> there was um, a security person from the subway. Oh yeah, there was. just started yelling like, I oh, I forgot to tell you, uh, there are no trains today. <laughs> like, what? So we had to yeah. take like the regular line and it didn't even go all the way, right? Yeah, Something the regular like line doesn't go to the airport, so we just got a uh, subway line that went like north because the airport is north mm -hmm. just to get closer to the airport and to avoid like actual uh, car traffic yeah uh, and, and we did yeah we did there was a ton of people on there and once we got off it was like madhouse like I remember um, like you managed to get a spot on the escalator but because I had all the luggage <laughs> Uh, I didn't get a spot on the escalator. And I don't it was, remember that. It was like ants going through like I, single I'm file. I'm sure I was right? helping you with the luggage. So okay. for me to, to catch up to her, because we had to be at the top because there were so many people and there's obviously not that many taxis and we know where everyone's trying to go because that's where we're trying to go. So I had to beat the people uh, walking up the escalator and obviously the escalator was moving up, giving them a little bit of a help with all of our luggage, including like two suitcases. 
I don't remember that. And they had to like rush up the stairs and it wasn't like a small flight of stairs, it was a long flight of stairs. I felt like dead at the top. But anyway, we got there, we were like first at the top and we somehow, I don't know how we managed, I think someone helped us like identify where the taxis were and we went on his advice, immediately ran to it and got a taxi. We we met a guy that was working security at the airport Mm. and he told us like, oh yeah, we met him on the subway, he was going Mm -hmm. on his way to, to work basically and he told us like the, the the tips on how to get yeah. to the airport early like where to get a taxi from mm-hmm. uh so yeah like the, the the third leg of our journey to the airport uh was a taxi there uh and it was like the sketchiest old mercedes taxi it wasn't sketchy like the, it okay. was a really old mercedes yeah it was a guy and he was very proud of the fact that his mercedes was like really old had like a million kilometers and it was still running and that's, actually a million kilometers. Yeah, that's not like, reassuring to hear when you're trying to get to the airport in a very small window of time. But nonetheless, he was a pretty friendly guy. He spoke a little bit of English from what I remember. Uh, I think so. And, uh, you know, after the small talk was over, he kind of realized, like, oh, these people actually have to go to the airport. So he started, like, speeding up and passing all the cars, and we eventually got good. to the airport just in time to make the flight. But like, it was, we it saw was insane. the last people, like, we boarded last. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, like, as we were running towards the gate, the last people were boarding. So we were, okay, mm-hmm. yeah. we made it. We made it. We haven't, we haven't failed to make it. We haven't pulled one of the uh, streamer things where we sleep in or we miss the flight completely mm-hmm. or we um, no, I guess we're not hardcore, miss right? it by a few days or we, anything we, we, like we that. We didn't do that. Yeah, that makes yeah. you hardcore, I guess. But uh, we'll eventually get to Bahamas. It's just, uh, you know, our semi-free time. We obviously have commitments while we're there. We have to keep some things up while we're there. We do have some nice things scheduled. We're, mm-hmm. not, um, we're not sure when they will be announced. Yeah, we can't disclose everything, but we're involved in some good things, and um, yeah, hopefully we'll still get some time to relax, but we'll see. Traveling anywhere is generally a, a pain, and uh, hopefully we let you guys understand that's nothing unusual. It's still a nice change of pace yeah. from the usual. Yeah, but no doggies. No doggies. Doggies are fine. Doggies are at home, being mm. dog sat, uh, and they're having the time of their lives because the people like family that's dog Dex, sitting Dex them. Dex misses you. He's not going to be very happy. Yeah, but, but Faye's just a little traitor. Like Faye's just you know whoever gives her yeah. more food or more toys, that's her favorite person. And right now this is not. Fantastic. Well, let's see how much affection they give you when we return in a few days. Lucky. Yeah, and how, so. how how much drops of feet are around. <laughs> <laughs> the excitement. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, hopefully we'll have a bit of time to ourselves. See you. <laughs>